Hi everyone, it's Elaine here from the Buzzing Manx and where am I today? Well you can probably see in the background anybody who knows I'm in uh, Manchester Arndale Centre. I'm off to meet my friends. We have, we're going for an afternoon tea with the difference. Um, it looks like the revolution to Cuba is where we're going and instead of serving sandwiches and traditional cakes they're actually serving like chicken skewers, patatas bravas, churros. So we're going to go and see what it's like. I'll film it so you can see and I'll be back later to tell you what I've thought. Right, so here we are in Revolution de Cuba. We are, let me just say what day of the week are we? I'm having to try and think what day of the week is it? It is a Tuesday afternoon, so needless to say, it's quite quiet. I have to watch the music. It is quite a buzzing venue at night, this. Lots of people around. Uh, lots of dancing, salsa dancing. Lots of nice, lots of nice rums. And this is what we're having, the afternoon tea, Cuban style. £12.50 a head, so let's just see. So here we are at Revolution de Cuba and this is our afternoon tea. So the two sharing boards, and you know what, I don't have a menu to tell you what half of these things are, but the garlic bread, chicken croquettes, uh, patatas bravas, chicken skewers, so it's one board each. See, we didn't like it at all because it's all been it. And we've got four empty plates. Um, as part of the dessert, we've all got a strawberry margarita shop. As you can see, my greedy friends are more or less drunk all theirs. Anyway, knocked it back. But so just quickly, girls, did you like it? Yes or no? Yeah. Well, there you go. So £12.50. We're going to go on to the desserts next. Oh, look at me. Mrs. Hangel. You'll get used to me and Hangel everywhere. Good morning everyone, Elaine again. Now, I've got to say, today is Tuesday the 21st of March. When I filmed yesterday when we went to Revolution to Cuba, I said it was Tuesday then. No, it wasn't. It was Monday. Now, I have to say, you know that we're, this is talking about our lifetime in retirement. This is one of the downsides. Sometimes you don't know what day of the week it is because every day's because there's no work days to keep you structured. So, yeah, that was my faux pas. So... This is just rounding up what we thought about showing you the videos of uh, what the food was like, etc. And it's just a roundup of it. Um, I think it was a big thumbs up from all of us. Uh, we are ladies at lunches sometimes and we do try different food. Um, it was very quiet. I think there was another couple of tables in, in, with us in there again, but that's a Monday. Um, we enjoyed the food. There was enough. Like I say, it was £12.50 a head. There was enough food. In fact, I gave a couple of bits of my away because you got two pieces of nearly everything. Um, at the the bruschetta, they had little quesadillas, um, some of these little sausage croquettes. They were, I don't know what they were, like a potato and cheesy croquette. Uh, and then there was a the chicken skewers and patatas bravas. And then we had churros. There was a chocolate brownie. Um... It was very nice and the margarita, strawberry margarita shot, it was really, really nice. And I, I would actually recommend it. It's something different. If you just don't want the bog standard cakes and scones and that, it was very, very nice. So here's our final bill. And it came to £97.90. And we'd already paid £50. Part of the booking conditions was that we had to pay up front. So, so we'd paid £50. And it was £47.90 left. And that's because we had two bottles of Pinot Grigio between us. I mean, hey, what's a lunch without wine? Um, so that was £39. I think they were eighteen fifty. 50 I think, uh, a bottle of nineteen fifty. Uh, one of us, two of us were going to have Prosecco, but that was twenty eight fifty a bottle for Prosecco. So we decided that was a, a no. So we just all had the... The Pinot Grigio, it only worked out, I think, two glasses, two small, three small glasses each, but it was enough. So, yes, it's a thumbs up. I would definitely recommend it. Um, and then, then the very last thing we did on our way home, because 
you'll see that I enter competitions. We was aware of a competition where you had to uh, buy Guinness and do a Guinness, what they call a Guinness toast, a special way to say cheers, you tap the top, tap the bottle. So we went into O'Neill's and just did a bit of that. So I'll, just, I'll add that, my little Guinness toast at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it um, and hope it gives you some inspiration of somewhere to go. And like I say, I think my whole share of the day was, what, £25? But say £30 with my transport. I use public transport now. In fact, on the way down, the ticket machine was broken on the bus, so they didn't charge us. So, yeah, under £30. I've had a lovely afternoon, quality time with friends, uh, trying something new, and it was really good. So, um, see you all again. And if you want to follow us, be very, very grateful to help the channel. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, tick the bell for notifications. As I say, we, we're just getting it off the ground again now. So um, I'm trying to upload a video every week, uh, maybe some shorts in between. So please come along and let me see how can show how we can show you, John and I, how reduced budget in, in retirement doesn't mean you can't have fun anymore. Okay, see you again. And we had a buzzing time. Thank <laughs> you.